High above Britain, Roger Moore wasn't pulling a hijack job, though with a plane load of film executives and stars like Hannah Gordon and Sandor Ellis, it could have been highly profitable. The plane had a definite destination north of the border, Edinburgh, where the press and public turned out in force for one of the biggest entertainment events in years, the opening of one of Britain's most luxurious and up-to-date cinema centres. It was an occasion to bring the Pipers out in force. Roger Moore arrived, without his saintly halo, at the £350,000 ABC Film Centre, which houses three separate luxury cinemas under one roof. It certainly was a gala night for Edinburgh. Peter McHenry ran the gauntlet of star spotters. Also causing some flutters among the ladies was Sandor Ellis. The Secretary of State for Scotland, William Ross, cut the tape, and, as they say, the show was on the road. Brian Forbes and his actress wife, Nanette Newman, added to the impressive list of celebrities attending this first night. The presence of Scotland's Secretary of State at the event indicated the important role of the new cinema in the nation's social life. Great films from the world's major production centres and amenities in tune with the demands of modern life make this entertainment centre a necessary part of Edinburgh's thriving scene. Each of the three projection booths is equipped with the most modern devices to ensure the highest standard of film presentation. The crowd streamed in as the time for the first curtain up neared. Between them, the three cinemas can seat almost 2,000. This indeed was a proud night for both Edinburgh and the film industry. <laughs> 